Hello and welcome to KD's Business Tips. Glad to be with you. Michael Lapide here talking about payroll remitting for businesses. Payroll is when you have employees. You must remit payroll. And there's a lot of details that people don't understand that go along with payroll. First of all, payroll remittances are for deductions of income tax, federal, provincial income tax off your employer withholding tax. Secondly, there's CPP. You're withholding CPP in most situations, unless you're too young or too old. <laughs> And then you're also matching that CPP by paying a company portion. Then the third thing you're remitting is EI. You're holding back EI on them unless they're a family member. And then you're also, on top of that, remitting a percentage, I think it's 1.4 times from your company. So you have tax deductions, you have CPP, both employer-employee and EI employer-employee. And that's what a payroll deduction consists of and that might be for multiple employees obviously too okay payroll is typically remitted monthly specifically on the 15th of the month for the following month so if january remittance would be done on february 15th as an example some companies are required to remit semi-monthly and maybe even weekly if it gets really out of hand that's not typical but there's also some businesses that are so small and the payroll is so small it's just one person they allow them to remit quarterly but again, the majority are monthly. That's the standard, okay? Now, you always want to make sure you remit payroll on time. If it says the 15th is your payroll remittance date, don't remit on the 16th because if you do, the penalties are some of the biggest penalties that CRA has is on payroll remittances because you withheld money from someone and you're supposed to give it. It's not your money. It's not income you generated or anything like that. You're holding on to their money and you're saying here, it's called a trust account, just like GST. You're taking the money and giving it to the CRA. So never get behind on it because it will cost you money. And if you get too far behind, CRA will be all over you. They'll want to come audit you. They, they do what's called a payroll trust exam. They want to verify everything if you're behind. That's a nightmare. And on top of that, if you start getting behind, they will start assessing you. We start owing, and it just turns into a real headache, okay? And last but not least, when it comes to payroll, you must keep good balances of everything. That tax, that CPP, that EI, what you've all done and under each employee for the end of the year, when you do their T4 or if they leave and you do a record of employment on ROE, you need to have good records of all that. Again, if you have questions, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for being a part of KD's Business Tips. We'll see you in the next video.